Oh shit. Fucking Tagana went to the wrong part of the hood, wound up getting shot in the ass. Damn. So I guess he done. Anyway, dude standing on sidelines. He said, yo, give me the shells. I need the shells, man. I'm trust me, give it to me. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of him. Trust me. <laughs> And uh, we get into a flashback, basically, of how Overhaul was saying that this is the um, bullet. This bullet they, 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 that they made to get rid of powers, they only work for two days. Except they found one that gets rid of them forever. And this it's these ones. But they're expensive. It took so many resources because the people aren't, they don't know what the hell they're doing. These ragtag scientists, not playing, but they, like, when you first try to invent something you don't know how to do it so you it's trial and error at first so it takes a lot of resources and then it's like yeah, and our labs is fucked up he said the police just raided our lab when i'm playing the lab is jacked up and the people high on drugs so it's hard for them to keep focused so that's why the stuff costs a lot now anyway the dude got the, the bullet loaded up and now together like Yo, what's up? What's up? What's going on? What's up? Like, he's aware. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows what it's hidden for. So, he knew they was going to go for the girl. Like a dumbass. Motherfucker jumped in front of the bullet. Now, he knows that they got bullets that get rid of powers. He knows the bullets can get rid of powers. You know what I mean? And he knows they on the corner selling rocks and powder. And he runs over there to block the bullet. Now, here's why I thought that was stupid. Because him dumb, him stupid, him stupid because what if, the, what if they would have actually shot a bullet and they went through both of y'all? What if they shot a bullet that get rid of your quirks? You know what I mean? So now you corkless, you, you ain't no fighters now. You done. That who superhero gig can get that out your head right now. You know what I mean? Like, I can understand he's trying to save the girl, but you can only do what you can do. You can't do but so much. You can't do the impossible. So he darted out there like, I'm going to save the whole entire planet because I'm that dude. I'm Captain Planet. I'm going to save everybody. I ain't nobody going to die on my watch. I'm that dude. So he jumped in front of the bullet. <sighs> I was thinking that he was going to jump in front of her and, like, like smack her, like, like, just to get, not not to hurt her, but to get out the way, just, I mean, just fly at her and just bow and just get out the way, not, play, not smack her, but, like, push her out the way. You know what I mean? That's what I thought was going to happen. He jumped in front. Him dumb. Him stupid. You would think that some people would think, hey, if I jump in front of this bullet, maybe both of us would get killed. You know what I mean? Not me. Maybe both of us would get killed. And plus, if he loses powers, he might not be able to compete with these guys that got powers. And with that being said, the girl is still screwed. You got to save yourself first in this situation. Because if he saved himself, he could take out Overhaul. That's... That's that. He could take out overhaul. That'd be that. Like that. Real easy. But if he gets his powers taken away, it's a wrap. Now, anyway, we get a flashback to God that got saved by a superhero. Now, at first I thought that was his father. But I don't think that's his father at all. I think that's just some random superhero. And to God, was like, okay. <laughs> he said, he sounded like a little giant. He said, okay. He said, I'm going to be a superhero because I just got saved and now I'm inspired and my balls are tingling. So I'm going to be a superhero. And I'm thinking that the, his brother is the dude that's standing right next to him. And they all look like Archie characters. All of them got plain faces. I'm thinking that's just part of the court. That didn't go along with it. That did come along with it. So anyway, he revealed that their powers are hard to use and that you can get split right in. And he used to, like, his brother, it looked like that's his brother. He can, you know, they saying, using your power, you can get split right in the end. So, that's why his father didn't become a hero. He said, I tried to become a hero, but I almost got split right in the end. So, what you call him, uh, his brother didn't become a superhero because his father told him. 
If you try to become a superhero, it's going to be hard. Them powers is, is a motherfucker. You see, them powers. Mm, them powers. Them powers ain't no joke. He said, you try using powers, feel like you just snort, snorted a, a, a pound of powder. He said, he said, he said, two seconds of that power is like a pound of powder. <laughs> he said, you feel like you on nose candy playing with that, playing with the powers. He said, them powers ain't nothing to joke with. Them powers are powerful. I can almost guarantee that somebody got some powers where they can make some drugs or something like that. Some dude, he cooking up them perk 30s. Right in the backyard, using his powers. Like the girl, remember the girl that can create anything? Like she she, she can make shit come out of her body. She probably got a pound of perk 30s on her right now. Getting rich. Slanging them. And she could sling them for cheaper than anybody in the hood because she making it out of salt and sugar. Or something like that, sugar water or something. She could take like a pound of, um, I don't know, lotion or something like that. Turn that shit into her brother be mad like, yo, shit, what happened to my lotion? What the hell going on? I was getting ready to get into a session. Somebody took my lotion. What the hell going on? And she down in the basement making them perk 30s. We're going to hit the streets real heavy. But anyway, um, his brother and his and his dad was like, yo, these powers make you plain-faced it. Not two-faced, plain-faced it. But they so hard to use and get split in hand. And we get split in the hand, you'll be two-faced it. So don't use them powers. But anyway, Tagata said, fuck that. I'm using these powers because I'm going to be a superhero. So he snorted about a pound of powder. And we get the flashback of him going to school and actually perfecting his power after Night Eye catches him. Night Eye caught him on the, on the humble, on the humbug. He caught him. He was like, yo, I see your potential. He said, I see where you're going, little player. He said, but you got a lot more growing to do. But I can help with that. He said, I got all kinds of resources, all kinds of resources that can get you in shape. He said, we're going to hit that gym and you're going to get in shape. You're going to get the beach body, and you're going to have all the holes on you by the summertime. And then we're going to listen to Will Smith's song, Summertime. Now, anyway, the guy that he hit the bullet hit him, and he felt it. He was like, eh. It went through his back, and you see, like, the powers just, like, get sucked out of him. Like, he's out of there. They showed the other, his, uh, his partners and whatnot. Basically, they said his powers is gone. That's it. Now, Overhaul went and got his man. He's like, yo, this is my man. I got to get him. I got to rescue him before Togata take his anger out on him. So anyway, Togata's like, man, fuck them powers. He said, I'm going in. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said. It literally said, like, I'm looking at the chat. It literally says that. Who's doing the translation? But anyway, he said, man, fuck them powers. I'm going in. And he starts giving it to Overhaul. I mean, giving it to him. He gave it to him raw, no butter, no grease, no Vaseline. So anyway, Overhaul finally gets the best of him because he ain't got no powers. Him, him, him don't got no powers. And it's been revealed that he's been fighting for about a half hour already right now. And five minutes of that, he's been fighting with no powers. He's been fighting with no powder. All he got is rocks right now, no powder. He's been fighting for five minutes, no powder. And that's the main thing he like is the powder. He don't really he don't really play with the rock candy. He like the powder candy, the nose candy. Anyway, um, they got him all skewered up and whatnot. And I'm looking at this like, yo, you made a big mistake. Um, uh, his whole they the the guy says, yo, you just lost everything that you worked so hard for. And he's like, no, I didn't. I worked so hard to save this girl. That's what I put all my energy into. You took, you know, no motherfucker. You took three years, four years, something like that, in order to get your powers to where they are, in order to become number one hero. It took you that long. You were perfecting that power. You wasn't back there telling, going back there telling me some. I'm perfecting how to have good emotions or perfecting empathy or some. No, you was back there training with your powers. That's what you've been training with this whole time, and now it's gone. And fly on my hand. Now it's gone, so you're done. He's done. Look, he he overwhelmed Overhaul and that dude from the get-go. And after he just took out two other people, right? Overhaul beat him now because he doesn't have a quirk. 
I like the fact that they're being realistic. I don't give a damn how cuddly and, and, and fluffy you feel on the inside. You can feel like a bowl of jelly beans and cotton candy. You ain't got the power to do it. It's not happening. Don't listen to the little engine that could. If you don't have, if you go to, if you go to a, a fight and they got a gun and you don't have one, then you need to run. Hit the D-E-C-K immediately. Period. You're not winning. Period. So, now that he lost his power, which I think is... I don't like the way he lost it. I think they could have done it better if he would, if they would have just caught him slipping. Or, let's say, remember the dude, he said, I thought he was knocked out. Let's say he kicked him again, and he goes down. It looks like he's down for the count. Then he shot. Like, why the dude, like, let's say... um. Overhaul. No, no, no. Overhaul threw the bullets at him, so there was no way for him to not know it. So he threw the bullets at him. I can't. I think they just. I think. They, I think they should have just not let him go for that girl. You know what I mean? Because he losing this part was for nothing. Because they built him up. But I'm glad to see that they ready to. They ready and willing to get rid of one of the big characters. Because they put a lot into him. That's good. A lot of people are scared to do that. So I like the fact that he got they got rid of his powers because it's like, wow, really? You know what I'm saying? They willing to take those risks. But at the same time, him dumb, him stupid. Not playing, but him, he now, now, now I'm really messing up. But seriously, he made a decision that could have possibly cost him and the girl's life. He can't save the girl if he did. You get what I'm saying? But I do like the fact that they showed that even without his powers, how good he was trained. Think about it. Even with his powers, his strength wasn't from his powers. He didn't get strong because of his power. He could kick and fight just as well without his powers. Well, in close quarters, hand-to-hand -hand combat, he was almost as good without the powers. But moving around, avoiding attacks, evading attacks, whatnot, that put him on another level. That, that was with his powers. And anyway... He's getting ready to get killed. Izuku comes out of nowhere. He's like, here I come. He said, I'm hard. I'm hard now because I got my powers. No, I'm playing. He said, anyway, he's uh, he jumped through the wall, and we're getting ready to get a fight between between Izuku and Overhaul. Now that Overhaul's been weakened. So that's to say that when, when, when Izuku beats him, we can't sit there and say, oh, Izuku actually got better than Lemillion out of the blue. No, nah, he ain't doing no blues. He like them yellows. He like them not playing. He ain't he ain't uh he ain't popping no Zans, no perks, no nothing. The point of the story is when he does beat overhaul, he didn't do he didn't beat overhaul at full power. So that means that Izuku made some some advancements. He made some some steps, but he ain't up there yet. And now it seems like to God, if the, if those if those if those uh bullets work, you're a police officer now. Officer down right now, officer to God, because you cannot be a superhero unless you got a certain level of powers. Because if you don't have powers, one of the people that do will kill you. That's just all it is to it. I'm being real. Now you can have all the jelly beans, rainbows, and 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 fucking ice cream shitting uh, unicorns you want. You could be thinking about that all you want. You ain't got the firepower. You just ain't got it. That's what, ain't that what you call him said in the beginning? All might. He said, yo, you ain't got the power. You might want to think about going to law enforcement. He said, he said, I'm being real with you. He said, I can be, I'm just being real with you. He said, I got a couple holes on feed, speed down. They going to deal with you. No, I'm playing, but he's just being real. But yeah, this is a good chapter. Good chapter. I just don't like the way he lost his power. I think losing the power was good, cause it did, they them doing the risks and, and taking taking those risks and whatnot. That's good for the chapter, cause we don't, cause it, it makes us not expect it every time. Oh, he's gonna find a way out of it without getting hit. He's coming out unscathed. That doesn't happen in real life. Sometimes we need to see somebody get fucked up. So I like that aspect of it. But he, he he made a weird choice. Like, I'm tired of seeing that trope of, I'm going to do what's uh, morally right. 
because and it's always and it's not always morally right. It's always what people expect it to be. I wish he would have said, I went for the girl. I had I was I was intangible on purpose because I could not let that bullet touch me no matter what. It'd put us both in danger. You know what I mean? And you see, it didn't go through him. So probably when they got went through that girl, probably would just get rid of her powers. You understand? Or it might not have an effect on her. You know what I'm saying? If he knew that that's what the bullets were, but he didn't know that. But at the same time, even if it was a real bullet, the choices he the choice he made was was just going to be bad regardless. Jumping from the bullet was just not a good choice. Um, I've seen in other, uh, 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 um, let's say in the um, what's what's uh, uh, what's was it Yu Yu Hakusho? Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, Karama. He made the choice. Was it Karama? Yeah, Karama. He killed the little kid, and they said, "Why?" He was like, "He was there. He was crying. Like, oh my god, I had to kill a little kid. Oh, man, I feel bad." You know, he did the whole nine, but they asked him why. I had to. The fate of the entire planet was on the line. I had to. You get what I'm saying? I want to see more of that. We you know we hardly ever see that. But anyway, go ahead and leave your comments like the video and subscribe because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. You got the power to change that.